Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm Veronica Gonzalez, Vice President for Governmental and Community Relations at the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley. And today is a really exciting and wonderful day for us. Um, welcome to Missions Seed Building, the Center for Educational and Economic Development. And I think it's, it's really fitting that we're here today because uh, education and economics actually go very much hand in hand. And today's announcement will, will only uh, enhance that and tell you more about why we believe that this is going to not only be a great educational initiative for our children, uh, but also an economic driver for our area. So our first speaker this morning is someone who is very near and dear to us all, someone that has been a tireless advocate uh, for, for so many things in the Rio Grande Valley, but uh, especially education. He's always been very strong on it. I think actually, at, at, I don't know if it's still the case, but he was the most educated congressman in Congress, most degreed congressman. Uh, and with Gordon Washington, the most experienced, the most experienced <laughs> congressman, uh, and so, and and is a um, a seasoned member that has that sits on appropriations. We're so so very grateful to have him representing us in here in the Rio Grande Valley, Congressman Henry Cuellar. Thank you, uh, Veronica. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Veronica. It's always a pleasure seeing you. Uh, Veronica and I go back. Uh, Long way, and it's always seen uh, one of our colleagues from uh, from the uh, state legislature. I'm going to ask uh, Bobby also for, to come up here, and, and Anna, uh, Senator Cornyn, and uh, Vicente Gonzalez, because you know, again, without uh, the senator, without Vicente helping us, uh, and and the senator doing the work, he and I have a great uh, working relationship. He was saying, remember the. Um, a bipartisan trip that they took, and uh, so the senator called and they said, well, who's your favorite Democrat that you would like to take a, a trip with? And remember, they were going from San Antonio all the way from Washington, where he said, B. I said, well, that's good, but Senator, can we just do it from uh, maybe Laredo to San Antonio, keep it short, <laughs> uh, instead of uh, 1,800 miles or 1,500 miles? But again, Anna, please tell the senator, thank you so much uh, for uh, his work and his leadership, uh, being the second ranking Republican on the Senate, which is pretty, Pretty, pretty good. We're happy uh, for the work that he does. And of course, Vicente. Vicente and I have been working together uh, in, in a way to make sure that we emphasize what's good for the Valley is good for the state of Texas. So it doesn't matter if it's NAFTA or, or, or whatever the issues might be, uh, it's important. Uh, today, as uh, you know, first of all, um, uh, Veronica, thank you. And uh, again, uh, uh, Mr. President, uh, I'm really excited. I was telling the President that I represent part of the Valley, Laredo, and San Antonio. So we got the news uh, yesterday about the um, about the uh, the trio money or the upper bound, uh, and I have to say what you, uh, Laredo got, what San Antonio got, but what Valley got, uh, the Valley had the largest amount of 13.9 uh, million uh, million uh, million dollars. So again, to the University of Texas Rio Grande Valley for this uh, amount of money, and as you know, it's going to be divided among. Uh, Velas area, uh, uh, Gonzalez area, and my district, and all of Senator Cornyn's area, uh, and it's going to be divided among the different schools. And again, I know that some of y'all already know what uh, what the upper bound is, part of the TRIO program. Uh, working with uh, Tom Cole, Tom Cole is the chairman of the Education, Health, and Human Services. Uh, whether it's uh, money going to the National Science Foundation, uh, or whether it's money going to education. Uh, Tom Cole has been good. So Tom and I were working on trying to increase uh, the money, and we were able to increase the money for the uh, TRIO money, uh, which is important because right now, if you stay the same in Washington, it's a victory. You know, you don't want to go down. Uh, you want to go up. So uh, for the federal TRIO program, uh, FY16 was $900 million, uh, but with the help of uh, Tom Cole, we were able to increase it to uh, 950 million. So we added another 50 million dollars uh, to the TRIO program, uh, which is uh, very, very, very exciting uh, about uh, getting this money. Uh, this 13.9 million dollars, as you know, is going to cover students, whether it's Rio Grande uh, Independent School District uh, or La Grulla uh, or Mission or the or the different schools that uh, Vicente has. Uh, or Vela has, it, it all goes uh, to the different school. And again, it's low income, first generation college students uh, or disabled students that get this assistance. Uh, for the ones, uh, for our media friends, uh, just so you know, uh, what does this money go to? And I think uh, uh, the president would go into, but just quickly without going into details, uh, assistance for mentoring, 
uh, especially their first generation, you need that mentoring assistance uh, to work with them. Uh, financial aid, whether it's to file, uh, to help them uh, cover college application fees or uh, SAT or ACT testing fees. Uh, what we take for granted, sometimes those kids don't have the money, so it's gonna help them uh, uh, on that. And again, you know, the, the grant's objectives are very important. You increase the academic performance, you increase standardized test uh, uh, performance, make sure we have the, uh, the uh, retention part of it and make sure that they go uh, off into uh, college itself. So uh, this upper bound uh, is very important. In fact, my wife did, was an upper bound uh, student at the, uh, at the Laredo Community College uh, itself. Uh, let me just cover a couple things uh, that uh, in addition to this, if I can have this opportunity, uh, one, Pell Grants, this is another thing that Tom Cole and myself uh, worked on, uh, and that is we increased the Pell Grant from uh, 5,815 to 5,920, which is a little bit more per student. But the key part is now we will have Pell Grants in the summertime, uh, which is again, as you know, that is uh, so important. We had it, and uh, under sequestration, we had to take it out. And if you add any community college or any university, if you said, hey, what's important when it came to financial aid, of course, it's the Pell Grant in the summertime. So this summer grant, uh, program is important. And, and, and I know years ago when I, I was the author of the Texas Grant, which is uh, very important in Texas, uh, when I looked at it, and I don't know where it is now, but uh, your university uh, was the number one uh, user of the Texas Grant and the Pell Grant, I don't know if you still are, uh, and which is again important because you're opening up so many opportunities through the Pell Grant and the, and the Texas uh, Grant itself. Uh, let me just mention a couple of things also, Hispanic serving institutions. Uh, we were able to add money uh, into whether it was um, uh, $35 million in the defense appropriations also, uh, $35.6 million for historically uh, black uh, universities or Hispanic serving institutions, so there's a lot more money uh, in there. I also went down every single appropriation bill and added the words Hispanic serving institutions, Hispanic serving institutions, uh, without respect, the, the, the black colleges for many years added the black colleges. They didn't add us, uh, but they, uh, they added. So now what I did is I went in and just added Hispanic serving institutions to get the universe, I mean, to get the uh, universities involved uh, with all the different, whether it's the Department of Energy, Rick Perry, uh, whether it's uh, the military uh, or whatever, agriculture, whatever, now there is instruction there uh, to have the universities get involved, plus uh, there are monies in some areas. Uh, the other thing that I was able to add uh, is uh, $15 million, and it's gonna be more than that, but it's $15 million specific program that they have to establish before September 30th of this year uh, in the National Science Foundation. Uh, I was with uh, Francis Cordova, uh, which is a director, and we talked about this, and this is gonna be important, especially when we talk about STEM, and we certainly know the great work that y'all do uh, in, the, in the STEM uh, program itself. So again, we're, we're excited about the different amount of monies that came in in every single appropriation bill uh, for Hispanic serving institutions. We're excited about the Pell Grant uh, summer program because that means that students that would finish uh, the spring and then they would have to wait for the fall can come in now in the summertime and that means students can finish school a lot faster uh, and make sure that they're working on that. And finally, the TRIO program. I've been, uh, um, whether it's Gear Up uh, or whether it's Upper Bound, those programs, uh, you know, the TRIO programs have been uh, very, very, very effective, uh, especially for the first generation low income uh, uh, individuals, and that applies to a lot of us here on the border. Uh, so again, uh, it's been a team effort. Uh, I'm gonna ask Anna to say a few words on behalf of the senator. You wanna wave, or what do you wanna do? Okay, and, and then I'll have Bobby on behalf of, of Vicente. I, I know Vicente couldn't be here. Uh, I talked to him yesterday, uh, but uh, he's here through Bobby, and certainly uh, Cornyn uh, is here with Anna in every way and form. So thank you very, very much on that. Thank you so much on that. I'll be very, very brief. Um, Congressman Cuellar, uh, on behalf of the Senator, just thank you for everything that you do for your region. Uh, it is an honor and a privilege to work with you each and every day. Uh, and to UTRGV, uh, thank you for your outstanding leadership. 
Uh, I think we all know that education is the key to success for our children. As a matter of fact, I have my son graduating tomorrow oh, from high yeah. school. So uh, I, I know the importance of education. The Senator knows the importance of education. So we stand here with Congressman Guaya today uh, to salute him and salute everybody in the room for what you do for our children. We will continue to work closely with Congressman Guaya and Congressman Gonzalez as well uh, as we move forward. And just know that Senator Cornyn is always here to help uh, the Rio Grande Valley, the, our children and our institutions uh, to help uh, move our children forward and uh, give them a bright future. So thank you for having me here. Thank Appreciate you. it. Um, good morning, I'm Bobby Villarreal. On behalf of Vicente Gonzalez, uh, I've switched jobs, so I'm now I'm, I'm with Congressman Gonzalez. So um, what I, I'd like to thank everybody this morning. I mean, it's all, always teamwork, and I think Congressman Gonzalez counts him very, himself very lucky to be between two great leaders of Filimon Vela and Henry Guayar, and to learn from y'all's uh, example and your, your history and your experience at the, in Congress. And so he, he's very excited about that opportunity and today's uh, another example of that, all the leadership you've shown on, on these issues. And I think the biggest thing is that what Congressman says is, you know, education is not, is not always an opportunity for everybody. And if we can give that to UTRGV to allow them to execute this, people, the, kill, the children will get it. And it'll uplift our entire region. So on behalf of Congressman Gonzalez, I wanna thank you and UTRGV, Senator Cornyn, uh, thank you. Yeah, Congressman, I, I wanted to, just a quick update, uh, and, and this reflects in a large part the work you've done over time. Uh, at UTRGV, 68% of our students are Pell Grant eligible, two-thirds of them. And we are the largest users of Texas grants. Now, uh, of the incoming freshmen last year who were Pell Grant eligible, because of the Pell Grant, and Texas grant, 80% had no tuition or fees to pay. Our, yeah, <clears throat> how about that? Those students couldn't have gone to school otherwise. Now, <clears throat> we also graduate students uh, with half the debt load of the rest of the state. We had the second lowest debt load in the United States. Yeah, and so thank you, you're, you're helping our students in in many ways. You know, that, that help wasn't always there. I was a first generation college student. Uh, I hate to say this, but I started in 1968, so you know how old I am. <clears throat> there was nothing like Pell back then. There were no upward bound programs. There were no trio programs back then. If you got in college, it was kind of an accident. I mean, you just kind of stumbled in there. And uh, you probably heard me tell this story before. I, I had one A plus my uh, my freshman year, it was a very hard year for me. That was on my blood test. And so I've aced that blood test every time since then. But the truth is, you know, I walked on a college campus, I was completely lost. If, if there was financial aid, I didn't know how to apply for it. I didn't know how to register for classes. I didn't know anything. And, and further, I didn't want anybody to know how little I knew. Does that make sense? Th think about that. I, I didn't want people to know that I didn't know how to register for classes. I didn't know how to apply for financial aid. <clears throat> what TRIO programs do, they provide that mentoring, that, relationship, that set of relationships that kids who have a tradition of going to college already have. You, you think about that. If your parents, your brothers and sisters went to college, you get in there, you don't know something, you just pick up, you text, and, and you get the answer automatically. Your, your parents, your brothers and sisters know how to do FAFSA for forms. They know exactly what you need to do. <clears throat> Those are the things that, most, that many of our kids don't have. Think about what these upward bound programs do. And, and by the way, I'm so pleased that they reach, we're gonna reach a lot of students who've never been reached before. This is, these are terrific programs. But think about these things. Let me just read a few things that our kids are gonna get that, they, that, that many of these kids have never gotten. SAT, ACT preparation. You know, those kids who do real well on the SAT and the ACT, <clears throat> they've taken the prep courses. They have an advantage there. 
Well, we're going to be able to help there. The TSI college entrance exams, our kids are going to have those advantages now. The mentoring, the help in understanding. You know, I had never been on a college campus. I, <clears throat> I didn't even know what it was like. I didn't know how many classes to take. When, when our, these kids, they're going to be familiar with a college campus. They're going to know what to do. They're going to have the mentoring, the relationships that help them be successful. You know, our kids have, have the brain power to do it. You know what our biggest export from the Valley is? Not citrus, not brain power, right? <clears throat> we send brain power all over the state of Texas and the United States. We'll be able to keep a lot of that here, helping our kids understand what to do, how to get into school. I can't tell you how important that is. All of these things will address the academic, the social, the economic issues <clears throat> that inhibit kids from going to college, and, and the barriers are there. Uh, another story I like to tell, remember, if you don't start taking the right classes in the eighth and ninth grade, you, you, you're, it's pretty much you're, you're, your future is sealed right there. Think about this. Now, I, this is a true story. I got in the college prep program uh, in high school. <laughs> Hate to admit this, but you know, I had a girlfriend, and I wanted to take all the classes that she took. <clears throat> and she was in a college prep program. I got in the college prep program. Now, not everybody has a girlfriend that does that, right? <laughs> and she, I mean, the truth is, y you have to have somebody who helps you get in there. And if you don't start young, <clears throat> it, it's a very long journey. And, and so what these, that's what these programs do. They provide the kinds of advantage that kids who have a tradition of going to college, you have brothers and sisters who've gone, mamas and daddies, this advantage can be leveled out now, can be equalized a little bit. The, the impact of these programs is like the Pell Grant. The Pell Grants have had enormous impacts. These programs as well impact a lot of people, and that $13 million will multiply itself many times over. If you think about this, the kid that goes to college is going to earn a million plus more than someone who didn't over a lifetime. <clears throat> so think about all those kids are gonna, who are going to go to college, think about their earnings, they live healthier lifestyles, they're less of a burden on the health care system. If you think about the economic impact that this has long term on the valley and on the state of Texas, it's absolutely enormous. This is the best investment we can make in the future of the Rio Grande Valley. So, Congressman, Senator, Congressman, thank you for everything you've done. Uh, it, it, is, it is greatly appreciated, and the people of, of the Rio Grande Valley appreciate it as well. And Congressman Cuellar, of course, is, has been a friend for a long time. He was a friend of ours in Austin. We, we miss him in Austin, <laughs> so, you know, we, we'd, love to, we'd love to clone you and put you in both places if we could. <laughs> so, but, but we're very fortunate to have you in Congress. And we have a, a, a group of doctors here, I'm going to introduce them, uh, who put these, pro these proposals together for us, and I want to recognize them. And this, uh, this crew, you can just raise your hand or stand up when I call your name, Dr. Kroll. Uh, Dr. Leal, Dr. Becerro Barkholz, Dr. Nieto Cruz, and Dr. Lopez Vaquera. <laughs> I'm sorry? Okay, yeah, yeah. And, and so uh, these people from UTRGV put these proposals together. We appreciate your time and your effort in doing this. Your work will make a huge difference in the lives of people. And when you think about it, that's what this is about. This is about the individual lives of young men, young women throughout the valley. And as their individual lives are transformed, our whole society down here is transformed. So thank you for everything you do. Congressman, thank you as well. Thank you so much. Well, I, th I think you have to agree. We have a really great team uh, with our senator and our congressman, uh, Cuellar, our congressman Vela, and our congressman uh, Gonzalez. 
we have a really strong team, some people that are very accessible to us. Um, I will tell you that not only do they help us in announcing these grants, of course, but they help us all along the way. We will call their offices and say, we submitted a grant proposal, can you help us check on this? They, they move those, help us move those grants as much as they can. Uh, and, and because of that, we are the Valley, and because of Cuellar's position, Congressman Cuellar's position, Senator Cornyn's position, and, and how they have risen uh, in Congress, th they have a lot more influence and, and are at the table and are helping us to secure monies that are very needed here in the Rio Grande Valley. Uh, you heard many times, education is a game changer. I, too, was a first-generation student. I know uh, Congressman Cuellar, a first-generation student. Dr. Bailey, first generation student, you, we tell kids all the time, it's not where you start, it's where you finish, and what you do all along the way, and, and that we need to continue to give back to other students and to others that, that may not have the same opportunities. So these grants are gonna help us give those opportunities. And we thank you all so very much for coming today. Uh, we hope we have a lot more of these announcements for you. Thank you. We, uh, uh, we'll do the, uh, the check presentation. Uh, let me first uh, say, Alex, uh, thank you so much, Alex Bead and your folks here for allowing because yes, what we're doing absolutely. here is going to be affecting economic development with the new president also here for the chamber also, but it's going to affect it. So I, I just want to say, Alex, thank you for what y'all do. Uh, we're going to do the check presentation. Uh, so why don't we do this? Um, uh, Dr. Jornis, uh, uh, who do you want to, you want to get one of your team members? Or yeah. Team? <laughs> yeah, do the. You got the bigger print. Yeah, big check, big check. Well, who wrote the application? That's the one yeah, we're going to get. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Well, why don't we, uh, you want to join us here? Yeah, join us here. Yeah, I, again, on behalf of the senators and the uh, congressmen, uh, we want to get this uh, presentation. Uh, and, and again, uh, you know, I, I represent a large district from San Antonio to Laredo. Questions on higher ed? Thank you, Doctor. 